What if Australia could lead the world in renewable hydrogen production? What are the challenges and how are we addressing them? Let's explore the reality of Australia's hydrogen revolution and its place on the global stage. Australia's hydrogen policy landscape is evolving rapidly, reflecting the nation's commitment to a sustainable future. The revised National Hydrogen Strategy, first released in 2019 and continually updated, aims to position Australia as a global hydrogen leader by 2030. This strategy outlines a comprehensive plan to develop a robust hydrogen industry, leveraging Australia's vast renewable resources. This strategy includes the $2 billion Hydrogen Head Start program, starting in 2026 to 27, which is designed to accelerate the commercial deployment of hydrogen projects across the country. Additionally, significant investments from the future made in Australia. Innovation Fund and Arena are set to drive innovation and support the development of cutting-edge hydrogen technologies. The federal budget also includes initiatives like the $1.7 billion Future Made in Australia Innovation Fund, which aims to foster homegrown innovation and technological advancements in the renewable energy sector. And the $1.9 billion investment in ARENA is crucial to support hydrogen and other renewable technologies, ensuring Australia remains at the forefront of the global energy transition. Australia is extending its national gas regulatory framework to include hydrogen and renewable gases, ensuring seamless integration into existing networks. This regulatory support is vital for creating a stable and predictable environment for investors and developers, facilitating the growth of the hydrogen economy. Internationally, Australia is forming partnerships with countries like Germany and Singapore to enhance its hydrogen capabilities. The nation aims to be among the top three exporters of hydrogen to Asian markets by 2030. Despite these robust policies, Australia's push for green hydrogen faces several challenges. The goal, set by the Australian government, is to bring production costs below $2 per kilogram, known as the H2 under 2 target. Achieving this requires technological advancements and economies of scale. Global competition is fierce, with countries like the United States, Germany and Japan heavily investing in hydrogen technologies, supported by strong policy frameworks and financial incentives. The US Inflation Reduction Act, for instance, offers substantial tax credits for hydrogen production, making the global market competitive. Regulatory and infrastructural barriers further complicate the landscape. Integrating hydrogen into existing gas networks and developing new infrastructure requires clear regulatory frameworks to avoid delays and increased costs. In the Northern Territory, the Darwin H2 hub is set to harness over 2 gigawatts of solar power to produce 80,000 tonnes of green hydrogen annually. Developed by TEH2, this project aligns with Australia's net zero emissions target by 2050. It promises to create 800 construction jobs and 175 permanent positions, driving significant economic growth in the region. Construction is expected to begin by 2027. In New South Wales, the Hunter Valley Hydrogen Hub, led by Origin Energy and Orica, features a 50-megawatt electrolyzer set to produce 4,700 tonnes of hydrogen annually. Located in Newcastle's industrial heartland, this hub aims to revolutionize industrial processes and mobility applications. The project is a significant step towards reducing carbon emissions and promoting sustainable energy solutions in the region. With its focus on green hydrogen, the Hunter Valley Hydrogen Hub is set to play a crucial role in Australia's transition to a clean energy future. In Queensland, the Euroa Hydrogen Project, spearheaded by Vena Energy, starts with a 50 megawatt electrolyzer and plans to expand to 400 megawatts. Integrated with an 80 megawatt solar farm, this project aims to meet both domestic and export demands. 
supported by 3 million Australian dollars from the federal government. The Euroa Hydrogen Project highlights Queensland's leadership in renewable energy. Set to begin construction soon with operations expected by 2027, this project showcases a scalable approach similar to Japan's Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field. By integrating solar power, it addresses the challenge of high production costs and enhances Australia's export potential. Western Australia's East Kimberley Clean Energy and Hydrogen Project, led by the Aboriginal Clean Energy Partnership, is a groundbreaking initiative that aims to revolutionize the region's energy landscape. This ambitious project combines 1,000 megawatts of solar power with 850 megawatts of electrolysis capacity, creating a powerful synergy between renewable energy and hydrogen production. Supported by a $1.67 million grant from ARENA, this project is a testament to the government's commitment to sustainable energy solutions. It aims to produce 50,000 tons of green hydrogen annually, a significant contribution to the global push for cleaner energy sources. This green hydrogen will then be converted into ammonia, a versatile and widely used chemical, further enhancing the project's impact. Construction is set to start in late 2025. By involving indigenous leadership, the project ensures that local communities are at the forefront of this energy transition. This initiative mirrors Canada's Alberta Hydrogen Hub, showcasing a global trend towards integrating hydrogen into the energy mix. Emphasizing sustainable development and local engagement, the project aims to create long-term benefits for the community and the environment. This project addresses the regulatory challenges by integrating local knowledge and securing early-stage government support, ensuring smoother project execution. By combining traditional indigenous knowledge with modern technology, the East Kimberley Clean Energy and Hydrogen Project sets a new standard for collaborative and sustainable energy projects. In Queensland, the Sumitomo Gladstone Green Hydrogen Project aims to produce 200,000 tonnes of hydrogen per year, focusing on supplying industrial giants like Rio Tinto's alumina refineries. Currently in the feasibility study phase, this project plans to integrate renewable electricity and water electrolysis. Construction is expected to begin in the early 2030s. This project mirrors South Korea's Ulsan Hydrogen Town, focusing on industrial applications and local partnerships. Financial projections highlight significant returns driven by strong industrial demand and supportive policies. In Tasmania, the Bell Bay Power Fuels project represents a transformative redevelopment, marking a significant step towards a sustainable future. A collaboration between Abel Energy and Iberdrola, it aims to convert the decommissioned Bell Bay Power Station into a state-of-the-art green hydrogen and methanol facility. This ambitious project is set to revolutionize the energy landscape in the region. The first stage includes a 140 megawatt electrolyzer, with plans to scale up to 240 megawatts, producing up to 300,000 tons of green methanol annually. This will significantly contribute to reducing carbon emissions and promoting cleaner energy alternatives. Scheduled to commence operations in 2027, this project will serve both domestic and international markets, especially the shipping industry. The green methanol produced will be a game-changer for maritime fuel, offering a sustainable alternative to traditional fossil fuels. This aligns with global trends, similar to Norway's green hydrogen hub, addressing the need for diverse applications and market integration. By fostering international collaboration, the Bell Bay Power Fuels project aims to set a benchmark in the renewable energy sector, paving the way for future innovations and sustainable practices worldwide. Australia's hydrogen future is not just a vision, it's rapidly becoming a reality. These projects highlight the nation's potential to lead in renewable hydrogen production, driving economic growth and sustainability. Stay tuned to Green Planet for more insights into the future of energy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for updates on renewable energy innovations.